So let me ask you, um, when your business is moving forward, you're in the cosmetics business, you're getting in other businesses, fragrance and other things, life sounds like it's great, everything is going well. Did at some point all the businesses go down and after a while it wasn't so good? There, there always are ups and down and ups and down. I had the first phase of my life is very much American dream, okay? I lived a true American dream, really. I was young, I was inexperienced, and I became very successful. After that, you know, I had difficulties, I had a lot, and then finally I ended up selling the cosmetic, and, uh, and then, of course, my, by then my children are teenagers. So they went to boarding school. At that time, I decided I went back to Europe. I lived in Paris for a few years, and then I came back here. And then I decided, and then by then, my brand was really, wow, it was like bad. It was in discount stores, and everybody had done everything, and that was difficult. That was a difficult time for me to see, because everything until then was great and wonderful. Even when it wasn't great and wonderful, it was still exciting. But then I coming back, I mean, and seeing the brand and the people who were in charge of the brand, and they didn't care. I mean, there was no spirit. There was no, there was no messaging. There was no n nothing. It was that was really difficult. And as a, I don't know if it's as a result of that. But at the same time, I also ha had a cancer. I had a cancer at the, at the, not the bottom, at the base of my tongue. And, uh, and I think it has something to do with the fact that I couldn't express myself. Anyway, so I dealt with that, and I also then dealt with taking back my name and starting again.